Hey guys, I'm not coming to you from the dump today, but I've received some cool stuff from some pretty awesome people over the last couple of weeks. And I just wanted to share the random acts of kindness that they have uh, shown me. So, um, start right here. That's a nice Greenville, Mississippi brick uh, that was produced sometime between 1886 to 1891. And along with that, here's a seal test bottle from Peoria, Illinois. It's Roselle's uh, Dairy, I'm assuming, was the name of it. It says, A Bottle of Health. <clears throat> Those two items were sent to me by a fellow digger named Drift Robertson. If you look on YouTube, he's got a YouTube channel called Whiskey City Diggers. But Drift, uh, he digs a lot, and uh, I seen him post a uh, picture of this brick that I believe one of his friends found in a hillside dump in Peora. So anyway, I commented on his Facebook post, and I said, Drift, if you ever find another one of these, I would love to buy it from you. And uh, he he just messaged me out of the blue one day and said uh, said, said he was going to send it to me free of charge, so... Man, that's, uh, that's pretty awesome because that's an awesome piece of history right there. And then he had, I think I mentioned to you, my granddaddy worked for seal tests. I collect seal test stuff. He dug that, that seal test bottle and sent it to me also. <clears throat> Something he didn't have to do, but he did. So very appreciative for that. This next one, um, I was in a fellow co-worker's office. And I think I mentioned y'all before, I work in the community college system in Mississippi. And I work at the best one, which is Holmes Community College. And I was in the financial aid director's office. Uh, his name is Clayt Holloman, and uh, he's a Ole Miss graduate. And uh, I saw he had an Oxford brick up in his shelf, and, and we got to talking about it. And, and actually, his parents, the house that they either built or moved in, I can't remember what he said, they found a whole stack of these behind their house. So as we were talking about it, he said, would you like to have one? I said, man, yes, I would love to have one. So Clayt was uh, was nice enough to bring me that one. And then I posted some pictures of these on Facebook. And one of my former students, uh, Michael Rawson, he commented and said, hey, I've got a lot of Indianola bricks. Uh, would you like one of those? And uh, I said, I, I, I would love to have one. I don't think I mentioned this Oxford brick was produced sometime between 1904 and 1911. And actually, William Faulkner's grandfather started that company. So that's pretty cool. And then this Indianola brick, which was given to me by one of my former students, um, it was produced sometime, I believe, around 1904. That's when the company started. So that's pretty awesome as well. So I got I got very lucky on the bricks. And, and you know, that just shows you three examples of people that... uh think more of others than their sales because because they didn't have to send me that stuff and to tell you the truth each one of those bricks are probably worth i'm gonna say anywhere from 25 to 30 dollars and just the mere fact that they were given to me um i thought i just think it says a lot about those uh those individuals character so i'm, I'm very appreciative and then over here to these whiskey jugs i'm pretty proud of these this is a half gallon victrolio whiskeys from canton mississippi and then I have a gallon Victrolio from Canton. Now these whiskey jugs were produced sometime between the 1890s uh, to 1907, so they're pre-prohibition. And this half gallon is pretty rare, and I picked it up from my buddy Scott Hughes. I actually purchased this one. I uh, was actually sell, able to sell a, a bottle for a pretty good profit, and uh, Scott cut me a tremendous deal on this jug and uh while i'm talking about scott y'all go y'all go give him a look at uh the bottling works on youtube so he gave me a tremendous deal and and these half gallons are pretty rare because nobody bought whiskey in small quantities at that time so there's really not a whole lot of small jugs floating around there so i purchased that one and then scott and i were digging last weekend and i found my second emerald green start with mississippi chief and Scott asked me if I would trade that chief for a one-gallon Victrolio jug that he had. And since I already had a dupe of it, I said, man, I would love to. So, But but just to tell you, Scott's been really good to me, uh, has given me some stuff, and we've traded some stuff, and um, just been really fortunate to uh, to swap, you know, 
information with him, stories with him, and, and be able to trade for some pretty good stuff. So anyway, like I said, I'm not at the dump today, and these are not finds that I have found myself, but I think all of them are great examples of random acts of kindness. And so just goes to show you there's a, there's a lot of good people out there in the world, and uh, I'm pretty fortunate to have met a few of them. And really, since I've got into digging and collecting and stuff, I'm, I've met some pretty awesome people. So anyway, you probably hear my kids hollering. Uh, it's pretty cold in Mississippi right now. We're expecting an ice storm tomorrow. And uh, they're in there playing Fortnite, so um, they're pretty pumped up. But anyway, guys, I, uh, I appreciate y'all watching this video. Just felt like I need to share some of that with you. And y'all go like it and subscribe to the Jones Boys.